A virology lab at Stanford found that the variants from the UK and Brazil have been discovered here in the Bay Area. Good evening, I'm Christina Rodone. Andre has the night off. The findings come as California reaches a somber milestone. The death toll statewide today surpassed 40,000. There were 638 deaths in a 24-hour period. According to an analysis by the Chronicle, one-third of all deaths statewide happened this month alone. KTV's Greg Liggins joins us now live with the significance of the variants found here in the Bay. Greg. Yeah, Christina, with each change in the virus, there is a chance it could become more contagious, more deadly, or more resistant to current vaccines. So one doctor I spoke with today says the discovery of these new variants here in the Bay Area really underscores the need to pick up the pace of vaccinations. If you immunize people as fast as possible, that will actually just bring down the amount of virus in the community. So it gives it a lower chance of mutating. As Bay Area COVID restrictions loosened this week and California crossed a milestone with more than 40,000 deaths, coronavirus variants found in Brazil and the UK have made their way to the Bay Area, according to Stanford research. It doesn't change my, it doesn't make me feel more worried. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's bound to happen. Like, we just assumed it was going to happen. The variants found in virus samples tested at Stanford's clinical virology lab were first reported by Bay Area News Group and confirmed by KTVU. The UK variant is thought to be roughly 50% more contagious, or sticky, as UCSF doctor Peter Chin Hong puts it, giving the variant one so-called superpower. The Brazilian variant may have two superpowers, uh, not just stickier, but it may allow you to be reinfected with COVID. So far, current and soon to be released vaccines are thought to be effective against variants, but to varying degrees. One recent recipient of his first Pfizer dose says the shot in the arm gave him a shot of confidence. He can avoid a fatal blow from COVID. Because this will um, lessen the likelihood of my catching the severe disease, uh, I'm not as concerned. Doctors say we are in a race against a more dangerous mutation becoming a dominant strain and that ramping up vaccinations will help slow the virus's ability to change. But with limited testing for variants, it's currently unknown exactly how fast they are spreading. Because in California, I think the statistics are we only check about seven in every 30,000 cases. So when you see this lab has found this variant or that lab has found that variant, you know, it's probably just the tip of the iceberg. Now to protect yourself against these new variants, Dr. Chin Hong says you should really just continue to do the things you're already doing, which include social distancing, making sure you wash your hands frequently. And he says it is really important to make sure that your, your mask, it fits snugly over both your mouth and your nose. Christina. Yeah, sticking to the basics. Okay, Greg Liggins reporting live for us tonight. Greg, thank you.